What's up, you guys? My name is Mary I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective, free general collective reading, caps to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I love you guys so much. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. We're 13,105 subscribers right now. So thank you so much for all the love and support to the channel. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you'd like to donate, oh, well, I already did donate. Okay. So um, I received another the channeling. They're just flying in tonight. So I'm going to do it. And I just want to say heavy Aries energy. Heavy Aries, man. Heavy Aries. Just saying. All right, so um, the channel message I received was um, an Aries feminine that is very high in the dark arts realm is about to get her ass handed to her. I heard she is really, really trying to stop a manifestation of a feminine energy. However, through many series of chain events, her dark arts is about to boomerang back onto herself and she's about to experience extreme uh, mental health issues. Extreme. And I heard the second extreme very large, like big, like extreme. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. What is up with this crap? Somebody just needs to leave well enough alone. And I'm just being for real. Whoever you are, airy spin, black, black magic, dark arts, wilder. Whoever you are, ma'am. Um, I heard you're very skilled in the dark arts realm. And apparently you've been wielding this black magic, whatever crap you've been wielding for a hot ass minute. Now, okay, evil eye, yes. Um, uh, money, manifestation, yes. Uh, but dark arts, no. Nay, nay to the nay, nay. Just saying, just saying. Whoever you are, you apparently been doing it for a hot ass minute. So you, you're very, I, I think you're like a book of shadows kind of chick do. And I'm just being for real. I, I can't even use the term lady because um, you wish harm upon other people. And that's just the damn truth. So I can't even use the word term lady. You might be a lady. I, I think you might be an older person. And I'm just being real because I heard you've been doing it a long time. Um, and I'm serious. 30s and 40s. 30s and 40s is what I just heard. Oh my God. So there's at least two of you. 30s and 40s. Black magic wielding in the strawberry moon, y'all. Well, it's about to backfire on your ass. Um, and that's just the truth. I heard it's about to severely backfire. There's at least two of you guys. One, you're in your 30s. One, you're in your 40s. Aries fans. Um, and you've been doing it a long time. This black magic wielding. So I think you might have a hoodoo voodoo or a Cajun S type background. Whoever you are. Um, 30s or 40s. Aries fans. Black magic wielders. I heard you're trying to stop the manifestation of a, a particular femme energy. That's why you're doing this. But it's about to energetically boomerang back on your ass on you. If this resonates for you, I heard severe mental health issues coming. Severe. So I think it's about to screw with your psyche in like a permanent way. And I mean, I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning. And I'm serious. Somebody needs to stop with the damn hexing and cursing and putting people's names in jars and, um, stuffing uh animals with taxidermy style and all kinds of crazy shit if somebody needs to hear that or whatever the hell else you do maybe maybe you uh make voodoo dolls and you're sticking pins in it or some shit i don't know I'm about to get so overwhelmed in many situations quickly. Mental health is about to decline in a huge way. Huge. And one is about to start experiencing severe hallucinations, not spiritual realm related. Oh my Lord, this is terrible. So... There's at least two of you guys in the universe. One you're in your 30s, one you're in your 40s. Both Aries fans. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. I think for a majority of my collective, you probably are gonna, you probably know these chickadoos. And I'm serious. I think you know these chickadoos. And you're about to see this manifest in 3D. And I'm just being for real. 
I heard one of them. Um, are, they're both. It sounds like they're both about to get very overwhelmed very soon with just regular. It sounds like things in their life. It's just about to overwhelm the hell out of them. So I think it's about to cause stress, anxiety, worry, fear, the normal mental health type stuff, you know. Uh, but one of them, I heard, is about to start experiencing severe hallucinations, not um, spiritual realm related. So not clear audience or clairvoyance. Like, you know, I get my, my messages from internally. I think this is going to be like they're hearing something on the outside here or they're seeing something on the outside, not like spiritual realm, like a vision is shown to you, like prophetic, or it comes from the inside of you, like clear audience, like me. It's something on the external, um, like true hallucinations, tr auditory or visual. Oh, my Lord. It's about to hit them like a ton of bricks. What is going to be auditory, strong auditory, external hallucinations? One, it's going to be strong auditory hallucinations. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. One strong visual, external visual hallucination. Well, I said strong auditory twice, so that must be double confirmation. Strong auditory hallucinations twice. So, but it's audit, it's external auditory. Like, I get mine from the inside, from the spiritual realm. All my stuff comes from internal. I don't externally see anything or externally hear anything. This is about to come from external of them. It's not spiritual related. Anybody that really um, is versed in spiritual realm, y'all know it comes from the internal. It comes from inside of you. Um, this is coming, going to come external. Like they are really going to think they're going to be seeing spiders on the damn wall or, um, or hearing Joe down the street call their name, but really Joe down the street's not calling their name. If that if that makes sense, because I heard external auditory and external um, visual, so like they would be seeing spiders on the wall when their spiders not really on the wall, or there'll be um, you know somebody sitting in the room next to them and they think they're calling their name, but in reality they're not. It's I've seen that happen in many patients when I worked um, out in the 3D. I, I I trust me, I've seen the difference. Um, it's really sad, especially I, I saw it a lot in um, elderly patients. Um, it's, it's sad, um, but it's about to happen. But these people are in their 30s and 40s. These people are in their 30s and 40s. It is about to come quickly. It is about to come quickly is what I heard. My God, it's about to come quickly. One, it's about to get so bad, they will be men mental health institutionalized. Okay, I heard it's about to come quickly. And for one of them, it's about to get so bad, they're about to be mental health institutionalized. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. One, it's going to be external auditory. One, it's going to be external visual. Um, so, you know, example of like the spiders on the wall or Joe down the, um, Joe in the other room calling the name and Joe in the other room is not calling their name. Um, one is going to get so bad, I heard they will be mental health institutionalized. So they will be, um, sounds like they're going to get mental health treatment. Um, yikes. This is, woo, this is something, man. But it's all the dark arts wielding coming back on them energetically. I've been saying it on the channel for two and a half years, you guys. Dark arts always backfires. I guess people don't like to listen to me. My Lord. Spirit messages you have reflected. Woman holding a heart reverse. The thinking man. I heard these were Aries fans. They're Aries fans in their 30s and 40s. So I feel for a lot of you guys, you're about to see this manifest in these Aries fans, 30s and 40s. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, heaven, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, you guys, I think you're about to man see it manifest in these Aries feminines. 
30s and 40s. These are young buck people. I'm 38, for goodness sakes. I mean, these are young people. Wow. Number 44, 46 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 44, 46 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 44, 46. Woman holding a heart reverse, the thinking man upright. One of these Aries feminines is about to come extremely aggressive. Extremely. So aggressive in a workplace for many series of chain of events, she will be terminated. Oh my Lord, this is serious. Oh my Lord. I heard one of these Aries fans is going to become so aggressive in a workplace that for many series of chain of events, she will be terminated. So... She, this is the aggressive energy is what I'm feeling. Woman holding a heart reverse. I'm feeling cold-hearted energy, aggressive, cold-hearted energy um, to the point she's going to, I think, get aggressive with a coworker or a manager, boss, or supervisor, or CEO to the point it's going to end, end up terminating her. Um, cold-hearted energy, cold-hearted, aggressive energy towards coworker or coworkers. Um, it's in a workplace situation. This sounds like this is about to happen. One of them, I heard they're going to get mentally institutionalized because of all the auditory, external auditory hallucinations or external visual hallucinations. One, they're going to get extremely aggressive in a workplace situation, workplace dynamic, and it sounds like they're going to take it out on a co-worker or co-workers or a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, and that's going to get them fired. A wrong, not a wrongful termination, a rightful termination. Yikes, this is terrible. Workplace violence, like hostilities, which thinking man upright and this is going to make the cycles change. Yeah, holy crap, this is something. My God, the thinking man upright. It is about to seriously wake up a masculine energy in their life. Seriously, wake them up. For one, it's their son. For one, it's their boyfriend. For one, it's their sugar daddy. Oh, my God. I heard it's about to seriously wake up a masculine energy in their life in a huge way. Uh, for some of these masculine energies, it's their son. For some, it's their boyfriend. For some, it's their sugar daddy. I heard sugar daddy. So, you know, it's a, like a Mr. Um, well, she'd be like a mistress energy. The Aries Femme would be. And he's her sugar daddy. So, you know, he gives her money for sex, basically. Like a prostitute, basically. Um, sugar daddies. I, honestly, I didn't know what the term sugar daddy meant until I worked uh, my first nursing job back in um, 2014 when I worked at the first nursing home here in Huntsville. Um, night shift there. And uh, one of the girls, she had sugar daddy. And she explained to me what it was. I was like, what the hell is sugar daddy? And she told me, I was like, oh. It's kind of like a, um, a prostitute. It's kind of like a prostitute. Except, uh, yeah, like a prostitute. And I'm just being real. Except a nicer way to put it. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. So, for some of these Aries fans, it is their son that's about to get the um, eyes wide open energy. The thinking man. And this aspect is their son for some it could be an adult son for some i feel it might be a teenage son um but i feel it's a old enough masculine energy to get the wake-up calls what i'm saying i don't think it's no little four-year-old toddler i think it's a um either i feel it's like a teenage s type son or a 18 or above adult son how that resonates for some it is their um boyfriend so a boyfriend of this person for some it is their sugar daddy um but wake up call energy either from the sugar daddy energy for some you could be the sugar daddies about to get the wake up calls on these crazy coops and i'm just calling it for what it is crazy coops um for some you could be the boyfriend about about to get the wake up call on the crazy coops for some you could be the um sugar daddy about to get the wake up call on the crazy coops for some you could be the um son 
about to get the wake up call on the crazy poops. And if you're the son, I hope you're 18 plus watching my videos. Just want to disclaimer that. Um, but wake up call energy, you guys, on the crazy coop, which is going to make cycles turn, cycle change. It is going to make cycles change in a huge way. A boss is going to get a huge wake up call as well. A boss is going to get a huge wake-up call as well. So thinking man is a boss as well. So a masculine energy boss. So for some, you, I feel you could be a masculine energy boss. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. Well, sir, sirs. Your sirs over here. For some, you're a boss of one of these um, black magic wielder Aries, 30s or 40s. Feminine energies. So one year boss, you're one year boyfriend, one year son, one year uh, sugar daddy. You plug it in how it resonates, um, but it's about to make cycles change quickly. The world cycles moving quickly here. Um, I feel cycles moving quickly. For some is the mental health hospitalization. For some, it is uh, maybe it's breakup energy or cutting off the sugar daddy energy. For some, it could be the treatment of the mental health treatment, possibly um, actual hospitalization. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. This is whoa, but I heard cold and aggressive. So their personality changes are about to, I mean, you guys, their personality changes are about to come quick and swift is what I'm feeling. And um, very prominent, very prominent, like prominent. For some, you're a husband. For some, you're a husband. Oh my God, I'm pulling y'all out so quick. Okay, well, strong. So for some, you're a boyfriend, some, you're a sugar daddy, some, you're a boss, some, you're a son, some, you're a husband. You plug it in how it resonates. I feel you guys probably watch my channel. Uh, I feel that's why I'm pulling you guys out so strong. So I'll say it one more time. Some, you're a boss, some, you're a son, some, you're a um, husband, some, you're a sugar daddy, some, you're a boyfriend. So you plug it in how it resonates. You're really going to be thinking on, I think you're going to be contemplating all these personality changes and um, hopefully convince them to get some treatment. One's going to get fired. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So you plug it in how it resonates, but definite cycle change energy, whether it's mental health hospitalization is cycle change or the, um, or the firing termination, not wrongful termination is a cycle change or the breakup maybe of some of you guys or what have you, what have you, but I mean, or the personality change is a cycle change, but how that resonates, the personality, they're about to be serious personality changes quickly. I mean, cold, aggressive. I feel for some of these, maybe they wasn't that way before, or they were just heavy, heavy will, or they were just very manipulative. I'm not sure, but how that resonates, they're about to go cold and aggressive. I'll tell you that. 30s and 40s. You plugged in, how it resonates. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night and namaste.